Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour Micro HMI Simulate Project. And what that means is that we're going to call up the simulator that is built into our Seymour Micro software. And to call up the simulator, we have a Simulate, simulate Project button right here on the main screen. Or we can go File, Simulation. Either one will call up the same thing. So let's go ahead and do that. It compiles the program. And then what we'll do is it'll look exactly the same as what it would on our HMI panel. So here's my uh, panel screen window. And this is my uh, simulation uh, control screen uh, window. And so what you'll see is on my uh, screen window, I can actually hit the button here and you will actually see the digital I.O. that represent that button turn on. So you see it turn on and off. Same with the stop, on, off, and the jog, on, off. And so we can simulate the input itself. As well as last time, we actually did a common screen menu, which you'll see at the bottom here. So again, these are fully functional. So if I hit screen selector, I can now select blank screen hit enter and it will go to my blank screen. You'll also notice on my simulation control you'll see that we actually are on our blank screen now. So we can go previous, or we can go next, or we can go back to the main menu. So we can manipulate our, our control screen without having to download into our hardware. Now remember this does not do your logic in your PLC. The logic in the PLC uh, it still comes from the PLC. So in our case here, this was our start, stop, jog circuit that we did. And we did test it on our uh, Do More Designer Simulator using Modbus TCP uh, previously. But now we're just using our simulator within the Seymour Micro programming software. So you see here that we can quickly uh, go around the screen by just touching it. Now going over to our control menu, you can see that our screen list, if I want to go to blank, I can just go to blank and just click it and it goes to that screen and go back again. And what you'll notice is that the tags that are available on that screen will be displayed. So if I go to blank, you'll see that only the uh, panel to P, uh, PLC and PLC to panel um, are displayed. And back to our screen number one, motor start, stop, jog. And if I want to turn on these discrete inputs, the start button, for example, I can double click on it and you can see it start to light up. I can do that to the output and the output will light up. So just double clicking it. I can also uh, change pages here. Now, you'll notice that this first one here, um, Modbus address uh, 40,001, this is my panel to PLC. So if I change pages, we'll hit uh, uh, previous, you'll see page number two then gets put into there. If I hit main menu again, it goes back to page number one. So it's automatically updating as we uh, modify on our simulator. The other thing we do is if we want to do it via the uh, P PLC to panel, if I put in the value two, to represent our blank screen, hit enter. You'll see that again, panel or screen number two is active. I put back the number one, enter, and it will go back to number one. So, very useful um, uh, way of uh, getting around. And the other thing we can do is if we even um, turn on the buzzer. We'll put a one in here. Oh, that's the background color, sorry. Uh, two. So these are all my background colors. I have buzzers right here. There we go. Buzzer turns on. Put zero. And we go all the different colors of our background. We go back to zero again. And back to original. So the simulator is very good for uh, trying to troubleshoot your program, program screens in your HMI panel before you actually download to the hardware and go to the field. So it will save you a lot of time and money. Now, 
All the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. You'll also find a link below on this video to quickly go to the site where it shows you more detail. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You will also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.